Good morning, folks. We're going to hit a key aspect of the sunspot cycle, a galactic outburst 13 million light years away, and one of the slices of the mechanistic action for how the sun impacts polar dynamics. We've got some announcements as well, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. The calm continues. Sunspots remain. Most of the filaments remain as well. We are all quiet geomagnetically and in terms of eruptive events from the sun. I'm closely monitoring the big plasma filaments on the north and the magnetic development of the active regions. Sunspots still contain large umbral cores but without enough peripheral development to have high flare potential. Good reminder that sunspots do not always easily correlate with flaring or geomagnetic conditions. Speaking of which, those who know space weather know that the geomagnetic peaks of the sunspot cycle occur in the declining phase of the cycle rather than at sunspot maximum. This paper suggests that the lower differential rotation near the equator slightly dampens the sunspot mixing potential, while in the declining phase, the higher latitude of reversed sunspots allows them to be more easily disturbed and morphologically active. Astronomers have discovered a galactic outburst in a nearby galaxy, and while it is a polar outflow, it is not north and south, up and down from the galactic plane. They believe it largely went through the plane, and while they go on to discuss its impact on star formation, I can't help but wonder what it would have been like to be on a planet in the path of that blast. Lastly, on the article front, we've got the space hurricane impact. The magnetically vulnerable high-latitude, high-altitude structures on Earth are vulnerable to space weather events, and here we see how a disturbance in those structures propagates downward through the atmosphere, where it can impact the polar jet's polar vortex and several other processes that can then impact weather at lower latitudes. Alas, all still ignored in official climate models. If you haven't heard, I'll be on the culture war with Tim Poole on Friday. Jimmy Corsetti and I will be discussing the Earth disaster cycle and the risks from the sun. It's on the Tenet Media page, so be sure to check that out at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday, 8 a.m. Mountain Time. Lastly, folks, tonight the latest issue of Observer Review will go out. It's our monthly rundown of everything important that was discussed and discovered in the previous month, and it is the best way to make sure you aren't missing anything. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.